something we'd been kicking around for about a year and it and it started out initially as um, an idea around how do we create a, a more um, robust leadership program for women that's specifically targeted for women and and as we really played around with that idea throughout the year the goal of the program changed and it was much more about how do we bring awesome women and that was a prereq by the way so you had to be awesome um and how do we bring awesome women together of all different ages and different industries um different levels of uh, responsibility and how do we bring them together in a way and expose them to an experience where they would bond with each other and really start to um to share and grow and and like genuinely care for one another um because there's so there's so much to offer when you get just even a small group i mean we only had like 15 people right on our first bus trip and it was amazing the wisdom that was contained in that one moving vessel and and it was amazing how vulnerable and um honest and unassuming every one of those women was and we're talking you know the julie novaks of the world who are polished um really you know have it together really accomplished professionally sort of at the height of their career all the way down to you know women who who didn't know why they were there and didn't feel worthy and didn't think that they could bring anything to the table and it was just amazing to watch sort of the the fellowship and the bonding that happened all on its own all because we created an experience where these kinds of feelings and and this kind of um, community could happen. And that's really amazing to think about what the, what the result was when we compared it to what the original idea was at the start of 2015 and how much bigger, how much more meaningful, how much more inspiring the real result was. And it's the flow, it's exactly what you're talking about. And that was the jumping off point for us. Um, so we, we had this sort of super secret uh experience and we didn't tell the ladies a lot about it we just told them where to be and when to be there and to plan for a full day and we sort of handpicked you know our, our our list of awesome women and we had most of them say sure i'll come along they had no idea what they were coming along for and then we loaded them on a bus which many of them had no idea we were going anywhere <laughs> so that was awesome and we went on a bus and we um we gave them these um, smash books, which was Misty's amazing idea. And it's like a journal, but it's not set up like your traditional journal. And it just really set the tone. Nothing about this day was going to be traditional. And we got to meet with some really inspiring female um, women who are making big things happen in Detroit. Some of them are social entrepreneurs. Some of them are, oh, she's got it right there. Yeah. Um, some of them are social entrepreneurs. Some of them were um, small business owners. Some of them were um, sort of high power corporate individuals. And we had a chance to meet with all of them and hear just how common a lot of the struggles that we all experience are. And it was on the bus ride home that I think the real impact happened when we talked about what had meaning for us. And we started to share our own stories and we started to share our own struggles. And so the concept at this point Oh, yeah. So the concept at this point is now that group that was on the bus, literally on the bus, um, has become a cohort. And we plan throughout 2016 to bring this cohort back together several times throughout the year for different events, some more social in nature and some events that have a um, kind of a higher uh, educational focus. We're calling those our sip and savor events. Uh, kind of a wine reference there and we're going to kind of dip our toe in some pretty heavy material and then have a lot of time to kind of savor it and think about it digest it talk about it and again I think that's where the real impact's going to come and so that cohort will continue throughout the year and then this fall we'll launch cohort two and we'll bring a whole nother group of really amazing ladies together 
Uh, I don't know if we're going to put them on a bus. I don't know. I feel like we got to up our game. We got to mix it up. But um, the idea is that every year we'll have additional cohorts going through this. And then we'll have times where we bring all of the cohorts together. And so that sense of community just really grows and grows. And it's that layering effect that you were talking about earlier. So that's kind of our first offering. It's a little out of the box. It's, uh, it's very peer reinvention-y. And, and we're sort of building it uh, as we go. So it's been really, um, really meaningful. <laughs>